so wonderful. We're not God's family. I thank you that you sang that song. So that I'm no longer an orphan. Jesus has rescued me. Amen. My garment's no longer a tattered. My family is royalty. I'm glad of the family of God. You know, yes. there's families that uh, the people have great riches and they have a great inheritance, but they don't have God. But you know, you can just be poor and uh, your brothers and sisters can be poor, but it's so wonderful to be in God's family. Yes, yes. Yesterday, uh, been a long time since I visited the old cemetery of home. And yesterday I, I wanted to go. I told Fern, I'd, I'd love to, to put a flower on my daddy's grave. You know, my father left us when I was just very, very young. And, and I never, I wasn't with him, my father, very much in life. And uh, uh, I guess uh, it looked like that he didn't love us too much. Maybe, maybe he did more than we knew. The devil, you know, uh, he causes people to do things that they wouldn't do if it wasn't yeah. from the devil. But he left us, and I was just very little. Never got to be with him much, but, you know, he was my father. Yes. I knew he was. And he was buried up there at the old cemetery, and so we, we drove up there, and, and oh, it was grown up, it was so grown up, the weeds and the grass, and it was snaky looking, and, and the fire she had for me to go out in that cemetery in them weeds. But I, I sprayed my, my legs and my feet with some off, and uh, I started wading out through them weeds in that grass, yes. uh, looking for my daddy's grave. I found it. I found it. And I stuck this flower down at that little headstone. Amen. I was so glad to do that. I just felt good to do that. I don't reckon there was no other flower. Maybe there was a little old flower of her. Looked like it had been there for how long? No other flowers there in his grave. Amen. But, uh, you know, even though my family, the most of them, they didn't know God and didn't seem to be God fearing. But I found the family. I found the family. Yes. Amen. Yes. A royal family. A family that loves you. Yes. A, a family that appreciates you. I found that. And it's, yes. been, it's been so wonderful to live and to be with this wonderful family of God. You pray for us tonight. Yes. Of course, yes. Come in. Come in. Uh, we'd love to read some. Uh, in the book of, of Daniel, we might read first. In the third chapter of the book of Daniel, and maybe in the 24th verse, he said then Nebuchadnezzar, the king was astounded and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his Counselors, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. You remember this story, how that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, amen, them God-fearing men uh, that had been taken down here, uh, but they, uh, uh, they still retain their faith in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They're being taken away, even from their home country. That didn't mean that it 
change their views of the true and the living God. And this king, he made this image and set it up. And everybody was supposed to bow down and worship this image. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they just couldn't conscientiously do that. You know, today, in the day that we're living in, amen, there's things that God's people are just not to do. Amen. Not to give in to things of this world that other people are doing. Now, the other folks, they bow down. They bow down when the music started. Amen. Everybody's supposed to bow down. Shut up. 
this matter. Amen, God, we will not fall down and worship you. And if you throw us in the fiery furnace, Peter and 
and John. I thought of that. Uh, Paul and Silas, uh, them that were thrown in jail. Uh, and uh, they bound them. You know, uh, Paul and Silas were bound. Their feet were in the stocks. Uh, looked like no way to get them out. Uh, amen. But they began to pray. And they began to sing. And the jailhouse began to shake. Amen. And the bonds began to fall off. And the doors began to open. Amen. God set them free. And they come out. And the old jailer, he was about to take his own life. But Paul said, do yourself no harm. If we not here. Amen. For folks to do their self harm. Let's have a song tonight. Just all I have on my mind. 